What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for a little bit more Armello. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we conclude this game. Uh, we are the king, where's the king's health at right now? There's about 10 turns left. There might be like 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 depending on like what random stuff happens. But for right now we're at the end of our turn and we don't really have a whole lot else going on. We need to get the last spirit stone. We need one more spirit stone. If we don't get that spirit stone, we've kind of been focusing on other things lately, and it's going to backfire on us. And so, like, we're going to become kind of the pariah of the board. Oh, he got a follower? Dude, I never get followers. Bro, don't put a curse on me. Ugh, what curse did you just put on me? You bastard. What is that? Yordana, the curse of valor. So I can't fight Yordana. Damn it. All right, I wasn't planning on fighting you, Ordana, but I don't like to have my options limited like that. I don't like it. Darkness spread. Mm, he booby-trapped the village. What a jerky McJerk face. Uh, there's the last pair of stone. I want it. Uh, I need that. What's funny is you can actually have more than four spirit stones. I've had like five or six before. Just from, like, running around, but I can't get into the palace to cleanse the king. Yeah, you guys, like, do what you're gonna do. Damn it! He got one He got one prestige, so now he's gonna be the prestige leader. Damn it! Ah, oh, we were the prestige leader, though! Ouchie. So she got killed by the Bane over there, which means she gains a corruption. In some circumstances, you want to gain corruption, but... Oh, I need that spirit stone. All right, we got to go that way. I'm going to take a chance over here. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Oh, my God, we don't need the spirit stone. We are the champions, my friend. So now we've, you see how we have this aura around us? That means that we are officially the spirit walker. That's kind of a big deal. We're sort of like this prophesied person who has come back to save the world from the evil king. Now, if we can get into the castle, all we have to do is click the king, and we automatically win the game. We can also click these guys and they automatically die. And they will no longer attack us now because we're a being of pure light. It, however, does not save us from all of the other players just dogpiling us at this point and trying to keep us away from the castle. So, things to keep in mind, my friends. Things to keep in mind. I do need to ditch some of these cards. These guys are going to start ramping it up and they're going to try to start working towards prestige victories or killing the king now that we're the spirit walker but i think we should be set up for an early game victory right now this is actually a very fast game of our mellow because we got super lucky with the spirit stone spawns uh, we got a spirit stone from our first quest and one spawn right next to us at the beginning uh, honestly having against like human players having four spirit stones this early is a bad plan because everybody's just going to bum rush you and kick the crap out of you for the rest of the game uh, they're basically going to farm prestige off of you as much as they can and Zosha's already on her way over here to do just that. Oh, she didn't attack me. It's a miracle. Okay, well, I guess we're not... I thought Zosha was going to attack me for sure. I'm going to go over here and do this quest. I don't know if we're going to get it done in time. We've got eight turns left until things get a little bit crazy. Greed and contempt spread. For every three gold, you lose one prestige. Okay, I'm fine with that. Whatever. I don't have any gold, so... That's kind of an effect that's not really going to help me out. Alright, so that dude's going to move over to there. We have five wits. Five wits is not enough to get into the castle unless we have very lucky cards. We have everything but a sun over here. We have tree, we have moon, we have shield, we have sword, and we have rot. But we need a sun. The challenge will be all five. You have to get one of everything. And so... It's sort of risky like that. I'd like to get my health back. Zosha can't attack me because of the curse. So let's go do our quest first. We've still got a little bit of time to rest on. But... I don't think it's that big of a deal right now. So she just casted like a spell or something. She's got 2 HP, which is really kind of a bummer because I could have throwing axed her. If we didn't have the peace pact that she put on me. So, kind of a bummer, but I'll take it. 
Zosha seems to be the main threat on the map right now. She is dropping Banes really quickly and gaining a lot of prestige. I'm hoping somebody else will try to infiltrate the castle and then I can loop leapfrog him without having to do the challenge and purify the king. That's what I'm hoping will happen, but no guarantees that it will. Because if they can get into the castle, chances are they can probably kill the king. And so it's going to be a risky prospect and I need to be in the right position to stop that from happening. I'm going to get my HP back over here. We will resolve this challenge. And let's just kind of see what happens here. So I need a moon. I have a moon. I need a shield. I have a shield. And then we'll throw the rest of the dice hoping to get another shield. Uh, we got two rerolls. Another reroll. Come on. Damn it. All right, so we got shot by a sharpshooter when we came into town, but we did resolve our quest. I don't need the spirit stone anymore, so I'm not going to panic about it. I'm just going to take the stat boost, and then we will move forward. Uh, we can restore our health right here, so it's not really that huge of a problem. What we can also do is we could actually equip the Reaper's Trident right now, and once you have the Spirit Walker buff on you, you can no longer get rot. We'll just lose 2 HP when we put this on us. And it is a pretty good item, especially if you're not, like, minus two dice will put me down to five, but I've got plus one. I mean, that'll give us plus four swords automatically in combat. So I'm kind of feeling that idea. I kind of feel like that's a good play. It also clears out some space. Yeah, it also clears out some space so that maybe I can draw some more cards, too. He's going to try and fight me, isn't he? Oh, no, he didn't try to fight me. Uh, we got a quest over here. Go about face to get more wits. I think we are going to need more wits, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll get another wits uh, point so that we can infiltrate cities a little bit easier. It's going to take us at least two turns to get across the map, assuming nothing bad happens to us on the way. But we don't have to worry about the Bane, so I think we should be able to like accomplish this. She played Devious Rune. He's at three health right now, so we have six turns to make this happen. We could go for the kill right now, but when we complete that quest, it's going to give us easy access to the king. And so the king meddles with the balance of the wild portals appear on stone circles. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't affect me at all. Well, it kind of affects me, but not really. It affects me like a little bit, but not enough to make me panic. So really, the big choice we have to make right now is do we want to infiltrate and purify the king right now and just take our chances, or do we want to continue with the quest and get free access but be limited on time and somebody else may kill the king before we get there? It's... Oh, we got teleported. That might actually help out. In battle, plus one shield. When defending, gain another shield. Oof, I like that. I like... Oh, that actually put us right next to our objective. Never mind. We might have this. We might have this by the ass, depending on where other players are at. This is like the most perfect game that has ever been perfect for me. I think I have enough swords. I'm going to get an extra shield for free. Like, I feel like we're pretty solid on swords right now. All right, end the turn. We still have a peace pact with Yordana, so nobody... Oh, he's got a curse of skill on him. Yordana stole his body. Gross. Yeah, my money is on Horus as the one who's going to try to kill the king. That's my guess. He's got 2 HP, so next turn I may be able to throwing axe him, but I don't have any money, so maybe not. It's possible that we'll pull some money out of our booty holes, but it looks like she's going the monster slayer route, which really isn't what that character excels at. So I think the AI is probably going to fall down on that front. Oh, I just want it to be my turn so I can grab the quest and we can go purify the king. I've never purified the king before. I've never actually done the soul stone victory or the spirit stone victory. So I kind of want to do it. Let's get another item plus two health. Yeah, sure. Why not? I like wild weed. Over here, we've got a 50-50 shot at getting the poison taster which will give us poison immunity, but I don't think that's that important, so I'm not going to panic about it. Where is Horus? Where did he go? He disappeared. 
Hmm. I'm going to take my chances over here. Like, we will have to resolve a challenge. Oh, we just took, like, three damage? What? Oh, no, we gained health. Sorry. Uh, we can... I have a sword, but I don't have a shield. So we're just going to have to throw dice on this one and hope that we get it. There's our shield. And... We got a reroll. Sunshine! We got another reroll. Sunshine! No! No sunshine. So we're going to get teleported across the map. I don't really care about that. Oh, we got to do it again. Good lord. Do it again. Every morning there's a heartache hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four-post bed. No, it's not mine, but I'll see. So we get minus four magic and we lose an action point, but I'm out of action points anyway, so who really gives a damn? Who really cares? We got a free treasure. After surviving a battle, your opponent loses two health. That's not bad. I mean, we only have three inventory slots, so not that helpful. I was kind of didn't want that, but you gain scout. Oh, they're scouting me now, man. Everybody's trying to, everybody's trying to play me right now. Horus seems kind of scary. I'm a little worried about fighting Horus. Oh, he pushed him into the edge of the map. You gonna attack me, Horus? Oh, my bad. So we can go palace entry to the final battle. I don't know where the palace entry is going to be. Hopefully it's on this side. It is. Oh, we've got this. Okay, we've got this. We're going to purify the king. You just got to believe. But people are going to try and kill us when they see us going for the king. I promise. Like, they're going to try to dogpile us. I don't know how far out I am right now or if I can make it over there. The king's got four turns left, though, till he dies. I'm not the prestige leader, so I kind of need this to work. What's the law? The king orders the guard to hunt all heroes under the cover of darkness. King's guards will move after Banes? Is that what it said? Uh, one health and one magic minus two explode pool. Converts a forest into a swamp. I can commit arson. Who knew that crime was going to be such a major part of my heroic adventures? All right, let's go over this way. And we're going to kind of swoop on over to here into the castle. Hopefully. Hopefully. No guarantees that that's how it's going to play. But the goal for right now is to stay the, the hell away from everybody if we can. Oh, he tried to put a he tried to put a bad follower on me. So every time you go in a dungeon, there's a chance you'll get this little scrabbly ass cat that attaches itself to you, and the cat will use up your AP at the beginning of every turn so that you only have two AP. Super annoying. But if you stop your turn next to somebody else, they have a chance of jumping to that person. Things seem to be going okay. I expect one of these guys to try and go into the city to stop me soon. Because basically two turns from now, I'm going to win. Come on. I'm starting to get a little... I'm starting to get a little tense right now. I keep forgetting that the Bane won't attack me when I'm the Spirit Walker. As long as nobody moves onto that spot, we're okay. If, like, anything moves onto that spot, we are well and truly boned. Enter the palace. Yup. You hold in your hand a palace key. You have no idea what went into getting it, but a deep scour marks indicate it was not given freely. The door opens and the palace is empty. Its servants long gone. You step beyond the threshold and the head of you, the mad king, and his throne await. This is it. If we pull this off, we win. If we don't pull this off, we're done for. It looks like he's focusing on prestige in case we fail. Zosha, I think, is too far away to get here. Yordana, I think, is also too far away to get here, so I think we should be okay. I've also got a healing item in case I take some damage. I probably should have played it when we got here. But I think we're going to be alright. I hope. 
So she bribed Horus and she attacked a Kingsguard. Okay. I think we've got this. I think we've actually won this. We've won our game of Armello. Fantastic. I do like Zosha. She's a really good character. And she can be built in different directions very effectively. Wow, we did it like on the last turn. Oh, I've got a bounty right now. That sucks. Yes. The king needs more guards. All remaining palace perils are replaced with guards with only one health. Yeah, that's not good. We may get pushed off this spot. The guards still haven't taken their turn. Yep, we're going to have to fight for it. Oh, this sucks. We have 10 dice, though, and we have a decent amount of defense. So there's a pretty good chance we can pull out of this. Like, we have the advantage. We just need the will to see it through. Well, I mean, one guard down. It's going to come down to this dice roll over here. We're going to have to fight everybody in the palace in order to win this. That was a really unfortunate. The AI definitely decided to put the weenies to us right there. Oof. Tough one. Definitely a tough one. We just have to survive one more fight after this. Go for it. Ain't nothing else we can do. Hope for solid rolls. Oh my god, we did it. Oof. This man got buried. That man got buried. He got dealt with. Taste the righteous flame of my dice. Taste them in your mouth right now. You will taste nothing but the sour taste of dice. Hey, hey guard, you hear that clickety clack sound whenever you open your mouth? That's the sound of my dice about to be in them. That's the sound of my dice about to be all up in your business. As long as we don't take two damage, we're okay. Oh, we did it. Yeah! Oh my god. This is the tightest victory ever in Armello. Oh my god. Well, apparently, I thought that you cured the king. Apparently, we murdered the king with the power of light. But you know what? All you guys are losers. You lost. You lost. You lost. You tried. That was a sneaky move that you pulled with that guard card. That was a very sneaky move. But I am victorious. My name is Splattercat. This is Armello. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. You can like the video down below. Make sure you pick up the game if you're a fan of board games. I guarantee that you're going to like it. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi-do, everybody.